It's Wednesday, August 7th, and we're back out of the property, which has changed appearance once again. They've moved all of the wood from the tree over here. They have sorted out some of the junk piles. Some of that stuff is stuff from inside the house, so they've definitely got that out. They've cleared out everything under there. The bin has arrived. It is exactly next to where we think the driveway is going to come in, which is tomorrow's adventure, so I think it's okay, but then also, I don't know if you can see, right there is where the current electric line is and there needs to be a trench to bury that which is uncomfortably close to the corner of that so that's going to be an interesting conversation so that we have a before shot this is before the driveway has gone in this will hopefully be the last time we ever do not have a driveway and the driveway is going to go down in here and so that's going to be the work tomorrow and also they're going to grade around the foundation because i don't know if you can tell but like the ground slopes down towards the house, and so that's the reason some of the water's been getting into the basement. So Jeff, the septic and backhoe guy, is going to be here tomorrow. He's going to grade around the house and make sure that all the water flows downhill away from the house and does not get stuck near the foundations. And then he's also going to stake out the driveway. Our electrician is supposed to be here tomorrow, both to sort of mark out where the trench is going to go and also to use his fancy equipment to make sure there's nothing else underneath that we would hit if we were putting in a driveway and drigging the trench because the plan is to drop this wire to upgrade it and drop it into the ground. We are, alas, letting the bathtub go because I thought we could use it as a planter and it'd be cool, but also I don't know what's in it and I don't know that I want to plant anything in it. So we're letting that go. We are keeping the wheelbarrow though. The inspector was here yesterday and he said that it would need minimal work to save in the short term, but the problem is that roof would need to be replaced in three years. And I love this barn, you guys. I really love it. I think it's cute. I think it could be even cuter. But the problem is that it backs up to the stream. It's less than two feet from our property line, and the stream is right back there. So we were going to pull it down. We're still going to pull it down, but there was a brief moment this afternoon when we were talking about not pulling it down, keeping it, but it's just, it's just not possible. So we're obviously we're going to salvage what we can from the material. My gosh, look at all this crap down here. What is all this stuff? There's a, ooh, a wheelie cart. That could be kind of interesting. There's ladders, there's boards. I watch my feet under here so I don't step on something I shouldn't. Look at all this stuff. There's a bunch of tables. I mean, there's just stuff everywhere in here. It's like they used it as a junk pit before they had the shed up front and then they used the shed up front as a junk pit. So they've picked up all the brush piles um, and moved them to the edge of the property and they've picked up all the trash that they found in all the brush piles and they moved those to the edge of the property. There's Peter up there on the porch. Let's go inside and see what's going on. We took a brief detour from going inside the house because I, there's a pathway here now to the north side. And look, this is the stream bed. Let's see if I can zoom out for you guys. This is the stream bed, and here's the spillway that comes underneath the road from Autumn's place across the street. And up there, I don't know if you can see it very well, there's a stake with a pink flag in it. We think that's the corner marker that the surveyor put in. We foolishly did not bring the survey map um, with us this time around, but we think that's where our survey uh, corner is up there. And then this is our neighbor's property to the north. It is not in great shape, and I just want to, I don't know if you can see it here, there's this black hose coming out of the side of the barn or garage or whatever it is down here, which probably isn't good. But there's an actual creek bed here. One of the things I was curious about is whether this actually slopes down or there is some sort of creek edge. There is some sort of creek edge down here, and this is more or less the functional boundary of our property. Again, you can kind of see there's the, there's the barn, and like two feet over from that is where the property line is. So the property line kind of slants um, from here and kind of comes up here and eventually crosses into the stream bed and goes um, up to the marker up there. So very pretty here this time of year. Extremely pretty here. I'm excited to see what we can do with the property. And our other discovery of the day, you guys can see, you see right here, that is not a tree. That is, as far as we can tell, a very tall metal pole that goes all the way up here. There's no tackle or rope gear on it to be a flagpole, but there, I don't know what else it would be. There doesn't seem to be a light on it at the top. So another mystery. What is this pole? The road is right up there. It's a pretty steep grade down here, actually. 
Um, but this is pretty exciting because one of the things we want to do up there is our road and we want to build um, a culvert next to the road to divert the water so it doesn't just go that way so that it goes in there and we want to kind of bring it over this way um, and ideally divert it into the stream bed if that doesn't affect the stream bed substantively so two days of rain today's our first dry day and yet this is still quite quite dry okay so james's team has really been working to clear stuff out look everything's cleared back here and look how much nicer it looks without all the junk in here doesn't this look great without all the stuff up here all the stuff out here so much better so much better and what's really cool you guys i didn't notice when i was doing the outside tour they've taken the vines out look at all the light coming in this window isn't that glorious we have found some owners for the drum set it's going to be the folks across the way so that's going to be gone probably tomorrow but yeah look they're starting to get all the stuff out um they've been staging stuff here my guess is that some of the stuff is donate stuff the hallway has been cleared of junk uh, they moved all, a lot of the wood and stuff out of here they've been moving stuff around uh, upstairs that's cute i didn't notice that i'd like to save that even though it's missing glass that should be there. Funny how you notice things the second, third, or fourth time. Oh, they've cleared out all the crap from here. It's really echoey. Look how nice it is. This will be my room, or my office, we think, with a view through those trees <laughs> to the lake. Oh my gosh, they cleared out everything up here. Everything. This is great. This is marvelous. This looks so much better. So much better. Look how big this place is with all the mattress and stuff. And our lone shell. Oh yeah. Yeah, this looks great. There's a view out to the front yard currently. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The sectional that was out here is gone. Oh, this looks so much better. This looks so much better. Okay, we're gonna put you in here. With the other delicate thing. I need to go down to the basement, which I don't think you guys have been down to with me for a while. So, Peter D. webbed the stairs, and our goal for today <laughs> is to clear out all this stuff. Well, sort all this stuff into what we want and what we don't want. Friends, we're done sorting, and it occurred to me I never gave you guys a full walkthrough of what the basement looks like because last time we were here there were birds so there's a little room here it's about this wide and um, we're going to call that like the root cellar there's nothing in there currently and there's no light there's a bunch of canning jars that are very old unfortunately we're not going to save any of the ones that have stuff in them um, but there's quite a lot like these that are empty and i'm really excited to use those there's several sets of canning jars there's a bunch here um, there's a bunch in the other room. So these are the main stairs. And then there's the utility room. Well, one of the utility rooms here. Look, we have a wine rack. Isn't this neat? Super neat. Another utility room. This is where the birds were coming in through that lovely hole. Um, and also the door here. And then this is the main room, which has most of the stuff in it and the heating. Um, everything, we're going to have them save this set of drawers and the thing it's standing on we're gonna have them save both workbenches um, the stuff that's on this workbench we're gonna have them save it's a really neat collection of stuff some old some new some stuff that we're not sure how we're going to use yet this too and then back here where there's no light <laughs> this runs the entire back half of the house so right here is the main beam set of beams that hold up the middle of the house so this front half is divided into three rooms, that room, that room, and the great room, and then this room runs the entire length of the house. Actually, almost the entire length of the house. I think actually the wall there does not go as far as the wall there and there. There's a bunch of crap in here, but on this side, there's a shelf built into the wall, and there's a whole lot more empty mason jars, which I'm really excited about. And then over on that side, there is what looks to be a vanity, a bathroom vanity still in box. So we may be able to use that, who knows? That is the basement. That was our task for the day. 
Nothing leapt out at us. Nothing moved except spiders. I was really afraid there would be like rats or something down here. Nothing moved. Nothing bit me as we were opening and moving stuff. So a good, a good set of work for the day. Thanks for coming along on this week's update at our new house. I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.